Hi everyone, so I'm back and what I have mixed up is a lot of pinks, as you can see, all pink shades, then uh, some green and some yellow, and of course some white. Now, what I'm going to do on this small one, because I've got a lot of paint mixed up, and I'm going to do a 30 by 30 after this one, but um, I've had a couple of people ask me um, to look at the elasticity of the cells with this pouring medium. So what I'm going to do is uh, do a flip cup in the middle here, and I'm going to do that with one of these. Then I'm going to show you how I normally do the bigger cells because people are still not really understanding uh, what makes big cells. So I'm going to try and do that. Let's keep the uh, green and the blue for later. Tiny bit of pink. Now maybe if you're not catching on, before I pour, usually I stir a little bit because of the uh, silicone that's in here. And you, you know, when you leave the paint to stand for a while, the silicone will be on top. So it's good to just give it a little stir just before you um, put the colors in. Now I'm gonna come in with the green. And with the yellow, pouring it up high because I want to uh, like that. Okay, that, that'd be enough. So what we are going to do, I'm going to show it up close. Now I'm gonna, not going to show it up close because then I can't get my torch uh, quick enough. So what I want to do is flip it. Let it sink a little bit, pull it back, and take my torch like straight away. And as you can see, cells all over the place. And now I'm going to stretch them out. But this stretching, this is what you do. You have to do it really, see how pretty it is? But you have to do it very controlled, otherwise they go long, and you don't want that. So I'm stretching, 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 a lot of air bubbles, which I don't really like. Still stretching, as you can see how big they are now. Pouring this over the edge, see how big? And this all has to do with uh, tilting. So it's not the medium that makes the cells big or the uh, amount of silicone, it's releasing the paint. Okay, they're, now they're getting a little long and we don't want that. But it's about releasing the paint and um, then starting to tilt. So I'm going to come in here with a little bit more to cover the sides. But as you can see, nice big cells. And like I've always said, you've got to color, color match, you know, what you're putting back on the canvas. This is more white. That's nice. Okay, that's nicely covered. Now we only have one left here, one corner. That's it. Okay, now it's nicely covered. So it does stretch, but I'm going to tell you straight off that every single color will be different with your uh, stretching possibilities. Uh, 
that's it. And there's not much pink that came up, so with the next one we're going to use a lot less white. But as you can see, the cells are pretty big. Um, here and there I do see a couple uh, of uh, those really thin veins that have uh, uh, burst just a little bit, but that's okay. But this is uh, usually what you get when you release the paint, torch, then tilt. And I am not sure why people don't really understand the difference because you've seen me, you know, release the paint and um, first do the whole canvas, including the sides, and then coming into torch. So when you want the bigger cells, you release the paint, it will level out just a little bit and you go straight for your torch, you torch it and then you tilt it. So that's the difference with smaller or bigger cells. And usually when you do that, you get this wispy kind of stuff going on and uh, really thin veins like you see here. And it's sort of, um, it's a nice effect. I see that this is still selling a little bit. So I just want to help it along, but I really like what's going on here. That is really pretty. Uh, I can't show it, but I will when it's dry. But I'm pretty satisfied with the pour. It's something different, so we'll keep it. I'm going to put it away. And I thought I'd show you the one that I sprayed the silicone on top. Now, as you can see, let me get you in focus. There you go. It is pretty. And what I did, I just wanted to try something else. So when I uh, thought it was nice, I sprayed some um, this stuff on it. This is um, a clear varnish spray acrylic and I sprayed it on the wet paint I thought maybe that it'll you know just keep it all in place and it sort of did and I don't see any cracking and I don't see anything um, that's not doing what it should be doing I just sprayed it on the wet paint and it sort of stabilized the whole thing so that's kind of cool Okay, now I'll do a, with this what is on the paper, I'll just do a little smushing. There we go. Put that one on top. I'm not too fond of this color though, but well, don't want to waste a lot of paint. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Let's see, get you in close. There you go. That will look gorgeous in a um, in a pendant with that rose gold. That will look really beautiful. Now I'm gonna do the other one. Let me hold it up a little. It's pretty. I'll see if I can make a... Oh, I, I, I made pictures with the last video, but they weren't good enough to do prints. So if they're not good enough, I just totally abandon it. And I'll see what I can do with these. Again, for the people that want to know the, the paper, it's Kodak Extra Life. 
I still have some left in here that might be cool to put on the paper. See, I do like how it keeps those lines. That's pretty awesome. And I'm going to let it flow a little bit. That is sort of nice all by itself. But really thick. Okay, let me get you up close. That's cool. I like this bit here. That is really beautiful. Ooh, I hope that's going to stay like that. I'll try and make a couple of pictures in a bit. So now the last out of this cup. Give it a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, and that light pink, and maybe this one. I like this one too. Look at this. Do a little squishy, maybe a swipe. Now let's do this one. I think this one uh, will sell up really nice. And this bit, this is really awesome. See, yeah, there you go. That is pretty. Eh, was prettier a couple of minutes ago, but. <laughs> Yep, I like it. Okay, so that was the little one with stretching those cells. Uh, I'm going to clean this up, come straight back and do a 30 by 30, a big one. And we're going to just load up with paint, let it do its thing. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so love you all to pieces. See you in a bit.